everybody. Today we're going to be learning about the SAM splint and the triangle bandages. Alright, so this is going to be your SAM splint. It's going to come wrapped like this. So you're just going to go ahead and unravel it. So the SAM splint has aluminum inside, inside in between these foams, and it's very malleable. You can shape it to any form you'd like. So I'm going to show you two um, different techniques that you can use on a patient who, for example, has a broken arm or a forearm fracture. Um, so for example, the first one is going to be a sugar tongue technique. So you're obviously going to measure this on the unaffected side. So you're going to go ahead and roll up this and have the patient grab it on like this. And then you're going to go ahead and bend to make a little crevice for the arm to go on. So the patient's arm can rest in there. And then you're going to fold this over their elbow, like so. And that's your sugar technique. So then this is the point where you would pad the voids and then wrap it with gauze. The other technique is a variation of a sugar tongue technique. So say you can't go over the patient's arm. You can also have this go on the bottom like that. And then, again, create a tunnel for the arm to go on. And so that way you can wrap. And as for triangle bandages, so this is going to be something you use for when a patient has a shoulder injury. Um, so they're going to come in packs like this. So you're going to need two. So they're going to unravel. There's some safety pins in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to open it up. Like so. And so if, if this one is going to be your sling, you're going to take the corner piece of the bandage and make a quick knot. And this is where you're going to place the patient's elbow. So you're going to go ahead and have the patient put their elbow in and then you're going to place it on the patient. And then for your second um, triangle bandage, this is going to be your swat. So you're going to go ahead and open this up. Take out the safety pins. Usually you can leave it like this, depending on the width of the patient, but this is gonna go over the patient's arm and around their rib cage, and you're just gonna go ahead and tie it in the back. So just leave it like this, and then secure it on the patient's back.